welcome back to another episode. This must be 35 now. Um, the next stage for me is getting the sump returns done and getting a couple of vents welded onto the dirt covers and stuff. I must confess, I did already try one of the fittings onto the dirt cover because I had never done alloy welding before in my life. So, I got it on. <laughs> it's stuck, maybe not most prettiest looking and probably could be doing a bit more to fill in that slope there, but the fitting itself is on and I think functional. So happy enough with that. Um, next stage is to do these fittings onto here. They have arrived, 12 a.m. fittings. So I'm gonna drill a hole the size of that inner collar there, jam it in and weld around it, if all goes to plan. Sounds simple, but most definitely is not simple. Um, it's uh, credit to the people that can actually flip and make TIG welding look pretty, because I definitely can't at the minute. But I'm willing to give anything a go, so let's see how badly this is going to go. Okay, so I want these fittings to go on around here in the sump, the front of it, um, to get it in the right place. I've measured the wee the collar in the middle there, it's 20 mil. So I have a 20 mil drill bit, step bit. So I'm going to drill this out. Um, yeah, drill this out that this fits just snugly into it. Then it'll locate it for me. I can tap it in home and hopefully it makes it easier to weld for me. I need to clean back the area as well, but I'll do that once I have it uh, drilled. So the center punch in. I know where I need to drill. Lovely. So clean this up we here. So that's the whole drill the right size and this pushed down in home so the next thing is going to be to try and fire the tag up and somehow see if I can get them to stick together and um, bear with me I am as said this is about the second time I've ever welded aluminium so <laughs> that's how this is going to go Okay, so it's stuck. I'm gonna take that as a win, really. I think I'm onto something with the fact that the electrode and stuff that I'm using is far too small for the thickness and alloy that I need to weld. 
think it's actually heating up too much and breaking down before it even melts the pool. So I need to maybe invest in some thicker electrodes and filler rod and go from there. Um, but I'm fitting on and I haven't even looked in here yet to see how bad it is, but no, it's fairly good actually. Um, so oh, I'll return. Done. Just another one to go on the other side and yeah, happy days. Okay, so you know the way I said I was keeping this on because it was in the right rotation of where I wanted it. Um, I'm going to be actually removing it because I've decided to do away with the water to oil cooling and go air to oil. And put an oil cooler on and put a sandwich plate on. So I will have to get this buzzed off. Then it should hopefully make the whole thing a bit handier to paint and clean in around. Um, I have went ahead and made a bit of an investment. The first of hopefully two today. Um, uh parkside saw out a little or aldi it's a great job it really is um i think it was 80 quid or something not dear so happy days um take a brave size of a box section um, it was one of the test cuts so fairly happy with it um yeah if anybody has a little or an aldi near them definitely recommend going down to get it for the price Okay, so here's the second toy of the day, the aforementioned compressor, um, which is very crudely, until I get my airline reel set up on the wall there, connected by this ropey looking line to the blast cabinet. Um, this is a second hand blast cabinet, but it should work the very best. I've wired up some new lights in it this morning, fitted them and wired them in. Um, so this is what it, I've tested it out already. This is what it, Capable of, and um, that's the engine mount off the Cosworth. So one done, and another one to go. I'm obviously not going to stick my phone or my GoPro inside the flipping blast cabinet because it'll get pebble dashed and wrecked. So you probably just see the before and after for these. But once these are all done, I'm going to fire up the powder coating oven and start coating really to get everything ready to go back onto the engine. Well, that took a lot longer than expected, really. And um, that's the Everything that I can see to hand anyway, there's obviously a lot more to do yet, but everything that I can see to hand that falls to the engine really, that is needing powder coaters. Um, actuator brackets, engine mount brackets, engine mount cups, uh, power steering bottle bracket, throttle linkage bracket, and the cradle for the alternator and power steering pump and stuff, and the tensioner pulley. So, all done. Glass cabinet is a great job, I have to say. Um, I don't know how else you get down into the crevices and stuff there to get the like so all the dirt in there cleaned. So it's a great job. Now I can get the powder coating machine fired up and get them hung up and coated at some stage. And um, once the engine is painted up, I can start building stuff back up onto it. Um, I'm actually going now after I lock up here to go and see the car. Um, apparently it's going to paint tomorrow, I think. So, it'd be good to get a bit of an update on it. I think the inside's all done, the cage is done, and yeah, ready to move on to the outside again. So, nearly there. Um, next bit, as I said, will be powder coating, and I will try not this time to shock myself to death. That'll be great. So, that's next. Okay, that's some of the bits there that are going black that you've already seen all hung up for powder coating. Um, hoping this time that I don't manage to shock myself to death again <laughs> so whenever the oven's heated up here I will get on and get these powder coated and into the oven and go from there I've another few bits to do yet but this temporary solution for a hanging rope is a bit unsteady hence why the bucket of sand's on it so I can't really hang more on the rope <laughs> so I get these done first anyway go from there Okay, so for any of you that haven't seen the previous incident for powder coating, I will intend to avoid that. If you haven't seen it, go over to the other playlist of how to's and how to not powder coat basically. Um, basically, rule number one, don't touch this thing here on the end of the gun whilst you're standing on the pedal. The last time I tried this, I was showing you how not to do it and I still touched it, I ended up near blowing my finger off. So, 
theory is push the pedal on the floor, complete the circuit, then this attracts the powder to the parts. Once the parts are covered in powder, then we transfer them over to the oven for 10 minutes at 180 and job done. Right, the next stage is going to be to get the now matte black powder covered bits of metal into the oven. Um, very crude setup, but it works. 180 degrees, 10 minutes. So I'll get these in and I'll show you the results after they're out. Just the engine cradle, I'm going to call it, for the alternator and our fuel pump and stuff to do now. Okay, so I didn't do much video on it this all today because it's just really rinse and repeat. But sandblasted all of this um, and about another 10 bonnet ram kits as well. Which, if anybody's interested, um, they are. I do make them and sell them. Um, they just bolt straight on, apart from two holes that have to be drilled in the. In fact, cut this video back in a minute. In true Blue Peter style, here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, bottom round kit just bolts on to the three strut top bolts. Drill one hole in the bonnet hinge plate just above the, the actual hinge bolt assembly. Um, and it just, as I said, fits in about 20 minutes. Um, two holes, six bolts, there you go. Um, so. If anybody's interested, those are, they're normally 80 quid posted within the UK. If anybody wants them off the YouTube, 70 quid if you just mention the YouTube channel in your message or your email. Um, the email address is chrisdupraisegarage at icloud.com. It's in the description if I've got that wrong, just if you're interested, have a wee look. But anyway, back to this, enough plugging. Um, all of this stuff 
powder coated in silver and black. I also have managed to successfully disassemble the alternator. Now, it's alright disassembling something, but hopefully I can get it back together. There'll be a picture popping up on the screen shortly of it all in bits somewhere here, and another one of it in the powder coating oven somewhere here. So, it's been a long day. Um, it takes a lot longer than you might ever think to start into powder coat stuff. Um, there's a fairly good finish on them, quite shiny, just ignore the fingerprints on them. But even got right down to doing the under roll bar mounts and engine mount cups and stuff like that. Engine pulleys, the tensioner as well for the fan belt, um, even did the washer. So, yeah, this is the cradle that I saw earlier on. I did somehow manage to drop it, but I'll touch that in. I ain't powder coating it again, that's for sure. Um, so, I think that'll do me for the day. I'm just waiting on the powder coating oven finishing up. Um, another seven or eight minutes or so for these alternator pieces to be done. Then, I'm going home for the day. It's been long enough. Um, the... Next video after this one, the car will be painted. Um, I'm saving all that for you for the next one. The I've been down a couple of times since I've put an update up from the body shop, um, and I have a couple of different bits and pieces of footage gathered up from different stages of the process so far. Um, the interior of the car and the cage, as you might have seen over my social media. Um, speaking of which, it's going to pop up here somewhere. Um, if you haven't seen it, take a wee nip over to Instagram or Facebook, you'll see the pictures of the interior of the car all done. Um, it's just the exterior to do, um, we're hoping to get at it in the next, well this is now Saturday, so I think next Wednesday or Thursday, by that stage it should be in paint, I'm going down to video it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, as said, that'll do me, I'm stop waffling, waffling on here now. Um, if you like what you're seeing, please hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends, um, give it a wee share on social media, if you can, it'll be great, just try and boost the, the views a bit, and yeah, thanks, till the next one, bye.